Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to explain a program which is written in C++. So if you are uh, facing a problem in the visibility of this video, you can increase the resolution uh, by going into the YouTube setting so that you can uh, clearly view the content of this video. So you can uh, uh, note down my information which are available uh, here in front of you. These information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes and uh, do not forget to subscribe, subscribe my YouTube channel. So now coming on to the program, the objective of the program is to add two metrics. So for this purpose, uh, header file iostream is included, then namespace std is used, then name of class is matrix. Inside class, I have declared a 2D array, which is a 3 by 3. Then in public section, I have declared three uh, functions. First function is read, second function is print, and third function is sum. Inside sum, uh, I have to pass uh, argument which is of matrix type. Then this function will return uh, uh, object which is of matrix type. Then to read a matrix, I have used this read function in which uh, two for loops uh, have has used which will read uh, nine elements for 2D array whose dimension is three by three with the help of scene statement. Then this print function will print the matrix format on console. So here I have used nested loop combination and with the help of cout statement, uh, the elements of a 2D array will be displayed on console in matrix format. So these two functions are uh, very easy for you because uh, you might have uh, studied uh, the videos or uh, uh, tutorials of C that how to read a 2D array and how to print 2D arrays on console. So after reading and printing, the third function is important, which is for addition of two matrix. So in, in this function, first matrix uh, is return type of the function. Second matrix is a name of the class, then scope resolution operator, then sum is function name then this matrix is uh, declaring a variable m which is formal argument then temporary object t is declared with the help of matrix then with the help of nested loop uh, i am adding two matrix values uh, for this purpose i have used t dot a of ij equals to a of ij and uh, plus m dot a of ij so this a of ij is for implicit argument then m dot a of ij is for explicit argument and t dot a of ij is for temporary object. After completion of this addition, return t statement will return the uh, added values in main function and uh, the object t will be received by m3 object. So this statement is a function calling. Here I have called some function in which I have passed m2 object as explicit argument which is received here inside m object and m1 object is passed impl implicitly which is directly used here as a of ij and the uh, return t statement will uh, will be received by m3 object so before uh, calling of some function i have called two function read uh, for m1 and m2 and i have declared three objects m1 m2 m3 after addition m3 dot print will display the uh, results on console so after this explanation, I am first compiling the code. So errors and warnings are zero. Now I am executing this code. So it is asking for elements. So I am entering one for first 2D array. Again, one for second 2D array. So you can see that sum is printing two in each position of uh, 2D array. And I have entered one in uh, both the matrices. So the result is correct. Uh, you can also implement this code in your laptop or desktop so that you can understand how we can pass arguments uh, which are objects and how uh, we can return uh, arguments which are object. So with the help of this example, you are able to pass and return objects as arguments. So implement this program. You can again note down my information for your uh, uh, studies and placement purposes. Thank you for watching this video.